So, all right, we are taking a look at the season three teaser for Invincible, which is pretty surprising because like the season two just came out this year. And I think we we had to wait three years from season one to season two, I think. I, I forget when season one came out. I think it came out in 2020, I think, because I think it was during COVID. So, yeah, Invincible season three probably going to come out, I guess, probably more like spring of next year, I would assume. Like, I don't know. I will say the release date in the trailer. But I love this question. I love this question that they have, like, at the start of the trailer before we even play. It says, who's the hottest in Invincible? <laughs> Overwhelmingly, it says Omni-Man. And then you got Alan, the Mauler Twins, and then Mark at 3%. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of accurate because I've I've seen some women say they, they think Omni-Man's pretty hot. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, yeah, let's get to this Season 3 teaser for Invincible. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, hey, uh, we have these things called... That's kind of meta, that though. Normal people use all the time. You like, why would they be in the show, have though? These things called Viltrumites. You should try winning a fight against them sometime. Okay, too too soon, Cecil. Also, how much does it cost every time you, like, teleport? Isn't that taxpayer money? Do you know the gross economic output of Liechtenstein? <laughs> Isn't that taxpayer money? That. Uh, okay, well, that seems really irresponsible. It's been months, Mark. Months since 2,000 retirees got their vacation crews ruined, and you got your ass kicked by some second cousin of your dad's who dropped in to prove a point. Hey. That point being that she could kick your ass without breaking a sweat. That's not nice. Not only that, she promised Mr. Ten Times Worse was on his way. Yeah, he, he was so dominant in that fight. what exactly <laughs> have you been doing to prepare? There's only 8 billion people counting on you. I, I've, I've been busy. Busy doing what, exactly? Well, I, I've been busy writing, designing, storyboarding, voice acting, key posting. Steven Yoon. No, 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 stop. I'm not falling for that shit. Who do you think I am? Some How those teas are already, though. <laughs> from Planet Just Let the Viltrumites Win? I don't. It kind of seems like they're not going to show any part of the season in this teaser. Don't started on your little four-month vacation right in the middle of things. We all sure love that. You have some mayonnaise. Okay, it was more like they've been addressing and a half. <laughs> They're just addressing like the the break in the middle of the season. Up to your obligations. So what exactly are you doing to get ready for what's coming? I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, stuff. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Stuff. And why I shouldn't leave a 19-year-old in charge of Earth's security? All right, we're taking over your training. Training? What training? What training? Okay. How about weightlifting, cardio, speed, damage resistance, flexibility, battle tactics, reaction, and tic tac -tally. That's so much stuff. Okay, when is when is this all gonna start? I thought you'd never ask. Come on. We're a top secret organization, Mark, and we learn from our mistakes. Well, I need to know when to show up. <sighs> Fine. Lights. Ah, much better. All right, February 6th, no mid-season break this time. All right. <laughs> I'm glad they confirmed that because I think I like how they addressed it in like the teaser saying, oh, you went on like a, <laughs> you went on a break for four months. So yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad because yeah, I didn't like that took the momentum away in season two. Just having that mid-season break was, was like, like it had me forgetting what happened in the first like the first half of the season. So yeah, I'm glad they're doing they're not they're not doing that. Cause that is like that seems to be a Netflix thing now. Like Amazon Prime, I do not want them to do do it for their shows, but I think I think it was because Invincible, like it was like uh that they they it was like the creator said like uh, I forget his name, Kirkman, Robert Kirkman, he said that um he wanted people to not like have it you want people to have a break because there would be so much like torment in the first part of the season which was such bullshit though <laughs> i think it's because they were trying to put the finishing touches on the second half of the season so yeah but yeah no mid-season break looks like it's going to be hopefully good i think it's probably going to be good for sure and yeah and this teaser doesn't really show you much it's a get you it's just a get you hyped up about season three which yeah in february like that is not too far away <laughs> Not too far away at all. So, yeah. But, yeah. Still didn't show you anything. But I, 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 I liked it still. It, it gave you a tease of what 
is to come. We saw Sleeping Yoon in the trailer, which is kind of funny. So they are going meta with it. They're definitely going meta. And I thought I thought it was kind of weird at first, but I kind of remember there was a part in the uh, one of the episodes where he went to Comic Con, and there's an animator that goes all meta with how they're like animating the show, and when they show you like a like a wide shot, or they show you like a shot where the mouth is not moving, so that they don't have a have to animate a mouth moving <laughs> when they're talking. So yeah, so yeah, it was, it was definitely clever, and it was a clever way to address some stuff in this teaser. So yeah, I, I liked it. So yeah, give me your thoughts on the teaser and Invincible overall. What are your thoughts on season two coming off of season one? And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Rebel out.